Okay, I just want to thank all you for support. We're going to look at any background here. Usually, you'll and I'm going to edit the video to bring it in closer. But you're going to see the collapse of the crane. Um, so this is a shout out to all the channel supporters, and also uh, um, Boise, Idaho, for sharing this data with me, uh, with us. So we share with the public. Um, is this right? Okay, you're going to watch the crane. It's going to, I'm going to probably pause it maybe. I guess I'll let it go through. You see the plane, uh, another jet in front of it, uh, uh, putting itself away. And then you'll see the crane in the background there in the, in the sky. It's going to break at the boom area, the lower boom first. And there it goes, breaking at the lower boom. All right, so let me go ahead and get you... You can see the people in the front here, Not they don't even know what's happened yet. They're just calm, cool, and collective. They don't even know the building went down there. They don't even know that noise. Is there anything from that highway noise or whatever it may be? Nobody's rushing over there from this area. Um, take notes in the background. There's some, that, that flashing light, that might be the um, vehicle impacted by the crane. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll get back to that. But I doubt it. The because the lights do come on. It doesn't get any better than this. I'll I'll actually I'll edit this. But this is the raw image, and now I'll, I'll take it into some software and see what I can do for you. So bear with me. Okay, I'm going to, once you, here's the crane, I want you to focus on this part of the video now. I'm going to scrub, I'm going to scrub it, and you can see the metal framing, Pickett's head is out right there. That's on the far side of us, not the closer side. And then we see as we go down, as it goes down, it's hit the ground probably already, and the, and this, the, the, crane is now buckling and there we go it breaks and it's going George please don't do that George is going to need his attention guys and well that's George just hitting the mic now all right so the build it's still moving see the ground right here it's still moving 
So all I did was take this into some software and change some shadows for you, things like that, to bring it up for you. Okay. And then the crane is, since it's uh, snatched by the uh, energy of the collapse, it buckles the crane. And there you go. Now, the the uh, report, as I read to you previously, said he was lowering, taking he was taking a load off of here, detensioning. This ball doesn't look like it's detensioning to me. Looks like it's still up there in the air. That's Georgia here purring when the collapse starts. <clears throat> now this is a darker image obviously so I'm going to do another I, I know you guys really appreciate this but I have another video coming up to show you why I think there is no way to to get this building straight safely safely that means for people's lives not in danger that it's not you know lives are always in danger inherently right but can you get this snake out of this remember this was referred to as having snake being pretty snaky and I'll show you uh, in a model um, why you can't do that and I'll explain the stresses well, it just can't be done. It's too far gone. Unless you've got a shitload of money for a lot more cranes to come there, it's better to do, disassemble this, bring some cranes in, out, hold it to stabilize it, then disassemble it, and then put it back together again from the ground up again. Not the ground up, from, from the, uh, from the uh, one end over, stabilizing it all along. Remember, the problem is they have uh, a superintendent that's never done, a super, superintendent that's never done steel structures before. They should have hired a construction engineer um, instead of a, uh, uh, well, a superintendent that they think, you, I, I, my guess, my guess is that he's bilingual and that made him, you know, superintendent, superintendent status that he can speak to the workers. Because uh, why else would you hire somebody who's never done a steel building before? Put them in that position of superintendent, and they've never done a steel building before. Now, right about there is where you see the fracture, the break in the boom. Remember, we were told by the PR firm that the boom broke upon hitting the ground, and that's not true. It's you know, it's broken. It's broken now, not before hitting the ground. I said it was physically impossible um, for that to happen, and you can see that. That's in one of my videos. I'm saying that it's not it's not possible. It broke in the air, and there it is breaking in the air. The it did not break upon hitting the ground. Okay, guys, from Morgan Romero, uh, it says continued from previous book. Uh, Inland Crane says at the time of the incident, one crane was in service to place an end truss, which we know was already placed. When the building, well, it was it was still connected. Right, it, it's not placed until it's finished all the cross bracings done and you know but the whole building was snaky as we know in my previous post video please see the chain of videos here and if you guys are new to my channel what i do is i i let the data present and if data says we'll do a 180 i will do a 180 so i will not just because i said something previously hold to it so if new data presents and says no what you previously thought or stated here's clarity of it in a different format um, well, in this case, I stated that this part can happen. When the building collapsed due to an unknown structural failure, it was, it was, it was torsion buckling, the crane boom, the hydraulic arm of the equipment, snapped on impact. This is what Inland Crane says. That it snapped on impact. And I just showed you that that's not possible. That it, I said it was not possible in my video. And now I show you that, well, it's true. It's not possible. Um, I prove it here that, that they're, they're, they're lying. It didn't snap on impact because here we go slowly. And it's broken in the air. Not snapped on impact, but broken in the air. So you can see Inland Crane says it snapped on impact. Why would they say that? 
Why would they say that? I don't want to hear excuses for them, guys. I I just, you know, the, the PR firm obviously is trying to bamboozle the public or they don't have an engineer that has common sense assisting them and it's just some rookie PR firm that doesn't doesn't think somebody like me is going to pop up and call them bullshit when I see it. Snapped on impact. I said it's bullshit. Look, it snapped in the air. Not on impact. Not on impact. It's not on impact until now. All right? It broke there. It broke while it was, while the building was going down. The crane failed. So that, you know, that's to be determined, you know. Structural integrity of the crane needs to be resolved also. But they were connected. And um, when the structure went down, obviously this cable is enough to, to overload the crane. So you're going to have to stick with me, but I'll, I'll reveal more images than, than you see here um, of, of the incident. Uh, this is in the rescue mode at this point. I think the uh, uh, fireman figured out how to get the uh, operator to help with the fireman. Looks like that's an operator to me, uh, like an operator, not a uh, fireman in, in the controls there. But here's your your break there. So I'll I'll share more with you. Uh, let's see if I can give you this one piece right here. Um, well, so much for that. That's where your crane connection is. There's your sling, and it's switched over to wire rope to here to this connection up top. And I'll get you more to that um, in, in the days to come. But it appears it was fully extended. It looks like it's part of hydraulics, maybe right about there. It appears the boom was fully extended. All right, fully, fully extended. Um, I got Georgie with me. And for my man, Mad Max, um, somewhere I was going to show you that this, this is impacted. The uh, this does have a dent in the hood somewhere. I'll try to show it to you. Um, you guys can look at these images. You can pause them. Do what you want. Pause them. And if you want to donate to the channel, please do. I'm able to get more information um, to share with you. Uh, this stuff is not free to get access to what I need to get access to. Uh, so if you want to support and show some love show the love do so max right here here she is uh um dented in the cage right here here this shows it was at the end of the boom this is where it tore it out and um give me a shout out to the cats give me a little thumbs up show a little love and i've got a lot more to share with you over the next few days um so stay with me and thanks for all you great cat supporters and supporters of the channel remember this is a this is public service that I'm publishing uh, this, this information for. So here you see the end result of, of the failure. And here's again, I'm bringing back up the document showing where you can pause the screen and read it. But wire ropes breaking the day of and then the day before. And different witness statements, uh, the same. That uh, You can again pause the video and catch on to that. Okay, signing off with this one and giving you one last view, um, slow motion video and zooming in. You see the plane, the jet is backing into its parking spot and the hangar. And now you can observe, as whatever you observe, from the crane movement to the ball moving to the structure bulging to the fracture, the overloading of the crane. At some point, the manufacturer should better tell you when that crane will buckle. And that would be the loading that would be required to buckle it at that angle, at that at that uh, load, at that angle, and at that um, height. Uh, and the manufacturer would be able to tell you where when it would buckle, so you would know at the time it buckled that it received that much loading on it. Okay, take care. And again, thanks for supporting the channel. Please keep it up. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>